Hey, Scott Jordan with CRCS Outdoors. Welcome to season 10. RCS Outdoors, making a difference one young hunter at a time. Join us today on a youth hunting trip for deer with Ava, Curtis, Lexi, and Brian. Lexi DeForge, what are we doing today? We are going deer hunting today. Yeah? I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah, we're in western Nebraska, CRCS Outdoors, are. for the 2020 COVID deer season. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, God, <laughs> good to see you're so chipper this morning at 430. That's oh, awesome. I'm so excited. I uh, can't wait. All right. Well, let's get ready here, grab a little bite, and then we'll get on the road. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Brett DeForge, Lexi's brother. What are we doing today, man? Going on for our, going out for our hunt today. All right. Look at this guy. He yep. is ready. Yep. Yep. Painted ready, up, ready, ready. ready to go. Let's go. Awesome. What do we got here? We got some Rage Broadheads. Get them all tipped up. Oh, yeah. CRCS Outdoors, pro staff from Tom Washburn from Western Nebraska, and my lovely stepdaughter, Alexi DeForge. So we are uh, set up on a big alfalfa field, and uh, I've been watching all the deer come into this field every night to feed, and uh, there's about 15 to 20 of them, and there's about five different bugs, and one of them is magnificent. The other ones aren't bad either and won't take one of them and it comes close. So basically they come off of the cedar hills and uh, come down into this farm valley here and um, load up on some alfalfa and then head over into the corn for the evening. So how are you feeling? Excited? Feeling good. Yeah. Determined. <laughs> Determined. Very. That's a good word. Are you ready, girl? Alright, let's get this thing done. Lexi was left with a bad angle, so he walked away. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by K-Bar. Hardcore knives, hardcore lives. Go to kbar.com. Hey, it's CRCS Outdoors pro staffer Tom Washburn and my stepdaughter Lexi DeVolge. Lexi's on her second deer hunt. We got her a nice little meal deer last year, but she's fixing her sights on a whitetail. We're in western Nebraska. It's uh, the uh, 7th of November, 2020. I got 
got him. You think you got him? I think I got him. I think you got him. I, I, think didn't, I, got him. I don't think I had him on camera when you shot. That's oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> he was, I, you definitely hit him. <sighs> How'd that feel? Awesome. <laughs> that adrenaline. Oh, that rush. I <sighs> love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Feels so good. I, I want to go down now. I don't want to wait any longer. Yeah, we think he went down about 50 yards over there, so we're going to have to go see if we we're can gonna find him. Search. Let's look for your arrow. Oh, there's going to be something at the end of this trail. Look at all the blood all over here. Lexi girl, what do you got there? <laughs> I have never seen a deer bleed as much as that. Hi. On the run. Great shot. Oh my goodness. What do you think of that, huh? Uh, that, that was that was that was a shot where we shot it and we're we weren't sure if we got it or not. Oh my gosh, that was a perfect hit. That Look was, at that. Just with all the branches and stuff though, I mean I, I didn't think he, it and then I I was watching him and I just saw him go. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, let's see. What do you think of that, big brother? She's she awesome, great. huh? She did great. Here we are, CRCS Outdoors, and Lexi DeForge, Brett DeForge. We had a little fun this morning, did we not? We had a little we bit of fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of fun. <laughs> awesome job, girl. Man, yep. and you just put it right in center. That was an extremely tough shop. I am so proud that of you. That was crazy. For, for this being my second oh. year of hunting, yeah. I, last year, I mean, my last buck was still, I mean, this was my first buck to where it was just like, I'm, it's either all or nothing right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, well, congratulations, Lexi. Thank you. That's an amazing deer. <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bigger than the one you got last year, isn't it? It is. It is bigger. <laughs> yeah. It is. Proud brother moment. <laughs> yeah, Proud that's awesome. I'm so glad you guys got to share that together. That yeah. was incredible. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you, CRCS Outdoors, for this amazing adventure. I could not thank this show enough. Um, thank you, Scott Jordan, for being such an idol to my life and for hunting. And you're just an amazing guy, and I appreciate you. Yeah, there's a little backstory <laughs> there. Scott actually was wondering why you've never hunted before. Tell me about that conversation. Uh, Wasn't it at the lake house when uh, you decided that you were going to get your hunter safety? Uh, <laughs> actually, the reason why I got a hunter safety was because I was watching um, one of the CRCS Outdoors episodes and we were in our living room and I pulled my phone out and I um, bought my hunter safety course and a month later, I had my hunter safety, and that same year, um, I shot my first buck. <laughs> so nice. it it is completely CRCS Outdoors and why I am a hunter, and is that's that shows the reason I have this right now. <laughs> congratulations, so, Lexi. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> thank you, CRCS. Well, congratulations, so, Lexi. Thank you. What are you going to do next year? Oh, wait. New Zealand, <laughs> New Zealand next year, Red Stag. Gotta and step up my game a little bit. You'll see that on CRCS Outdoors. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today, and uh, we appreciate your help and support. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Take your safety off. Just keep squeezing. Uh, All right. Fire in the hole when you're ready. All right, so uh, Mr. Stu Miller. Yeah. Your first time shooting a rifle. Yeah. A gun, for that matter. I, I've shot before, but not like this before. Yeah. So tell me about that. This. Yeah. I mean, less kick than I thought it would be, and it was like definitely a surprise, but powerful. Well, 
this is what's crazy, right? So that was your first time shooting a rifle. Yeah. And it is in the center of the bullseye. Like it couldn't be any more perfect. So let's go check it out. Okay, so let's go. Oh. <laughs> look at <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Oh baby. Unreal. First shot. Save that. Right in the bullseye. Okay. There we go. There we go. Nice job. Let's do That's it. That's a dead deer. Tracking job. Unbelievable. I didn't think we'd make it out of this one. Well, we heard those sticks breaking. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Look at you. Oh. Your first ever deer. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Mr. Stu Miller. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Teacher at CRCS. And this is your first year, but the most important thing to me is you never hunted before. And nope. We tried in crossbow, we tried, you had a couple opportunities, but it just wasn't right, and tonight it was. Yeah, we got we got lucky first time. First time hunting, I would never have seen myself hunting before, but this was an excellent experience, and just kind of like being part of this animal's life a little bit was just humbling, and we're definitely hooked, definitely good, and I would have never put myself in this position, but, uh, what an opportunity for sure do you think like was it because of where you grew up people didn't hunt what what was it i think it's just never part of my family you know we never did that and um i think we're mindful eaters but like i think more importantly knowing what you're what you're killing what you're putting in your body is huge and uh, it never was an opportunity for me and this is the first time i had the opportunity so i had to take it and no regrets no regrets that's wow sure. and that's awesome and yeah. you know the whole thing is if you start out with a 12 point you got nothing to work for so I a lot to work for here but this is unreal yeah unreal. and he is he is cool he's got blades turn blades. give me a little side turn Blades. Yeah. blades. this is wild <laughs> i'm still not coming down from this little energy vibe here scott jordan with crcs outdoors here we are in the wilds of western new york and my boy, Brian, just got the job done. He's such an outstanding teacher. I am lucky to be his mentor. And then, you know, he said he'd never hunted before. So um, we did some target practicing with crossbows. He was outstanding. We almost got a shot. So the first shot out of a gun, a rifle, he hit the center of the bullseye the first time, the very first time he shot a gun. And this is the second time he shot a gun and got the job done. I couldn't be more proud of you, so I'd like to present you with a K-Bar knife, buddy. So, uh, hardcore knives, hardcore lives. Nobody more hardcore than Brian Stumiller. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, That's sir. That's a BK-16, our featured knife on the show, and guess what's coming next? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, let's All do that it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Oh, sounds Stay good. tuned for more CRCS Outdoors. <laughs> Uh, Tom and Heidi Washburn, I can't thank you enough. And we've only had this machine a couple of days, and we just christened it. <laughs> so, the first deer ever to ride in the Polaris. Thank you for your generosity and CRCS Outdoors. I mean, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And uh, now it's got some blood in it. Boom, yeah. Closed captioning for CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by the Frontier Financial Group, providing comprehensive financial planning services. Call Tom Stolberg, 585-593-6408.
We'd like to thank and congratulate Mr. Thomas Stolberg for all he does for CRCS Outdoors. What a great buck, Tom. Congratulations. A double drop time. Um, Ava Sylvester, and I go to Fillmore Central School. Now let's join Ava Sylvester as she takes her first deer ever with a muzzleloader. She's shooting today. Um, CBA Optima. Nice. I've got one of those. 50, 50 caliber. 50 caliber. Nice. Congratulations. Isn't that your first deer? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> then a short time later, that same afternoon. The second one. From the right. Okay. Last minute, last hour, last day. Here you go, girl. <laughs> there she is. Nice. Good job. I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you, young lady. Congratulations. And you said that's that's your first animal ever? Yeah, it and is. And your first deer, right? Good. <laughs> Good job. A little chilly? Yeah. Outstanding job. So proud of you. So so you're a freshman in high school? Yep. And you're taking the living environment and there's nothing better than this living environment right here. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is biology at its best. So lots to learn in the woods, right? Yep. I do so love deer hunting. Me too. Yeah. Are you hooked? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Curtis and Ava, I need a story. Last day of muzzleloader and we got it done. Talk to me. Yeah, well, we were fortunate enough to have Scott and CRCS come out and uh, and film us with uh, this great hunt that we had today. Uh, Ava got her first doe, her first deer ever. Nice. Uh, That's uh, awesome. Pretty exciting. And, uh, I was able to follow up and get one myself, so. Very nice, congratulations, you guys. That is, you. that is awesome. And here we are in the wilds of Western New York. We're on the Heinz farm again, and, and Curtis Heinz, I'm so proud of you guys. Look at those two deer, outstanding. And it's the last day, the last hour, the last minute, and season is officially over. <laughs> awesome, right? Yeah, what a great way to end a long season. Right, wow, that is great, and a lot of good eats there. Wow, those are some big does too. Holy smokers. This is not your first rodeo, but how how awesome is it to have Ava with her first deer? Right, it means a lot to me to, to be able to spend this time with my daughter and uh, watch her harvest her first deer. It, mean, it means a lot to me, and it's not only important to me, it's important to our whole family. It's kind of a way of life here. Absolutely. And then a lot of good eats there. Now, do you process your own deer? Or? Uh, we, we usually have some processed um, from a butcher shop, but um, we'll process these ourselves. Yeah? Yep. End uh, of the my season. My wife does a lot of canning, so she says we need to put up some more some more canned meat. So. Wonderful. And jerky. And jerky. The kids love jerky. So. <laughs> Is that your favorite? Mm -hmm. Jerky. Very cool. Well, I am so proud of you, young lady. I can't tell you enough. So thanks a lot, you two. It was wonderful to be able to share this with you today. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So, Dad, I'm going to present you with a K-Bar Sport. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, it's a combination of knife or knife, spoon, and fork. 
um, and this actually comes apart. And then for this young lady, Ava, for her first animal ever, I'm gonna present her with a K-Bar VK16. This is the featured knife on our show. Bad boy, um, Ava, do you know what this means? <laughs> well, somebody's got a gut these bad boys. <laughs> Congratulations, young lady. I'm so proud of you. What an excellent job. Outstanding. And um, you were telling me today, so did, did you play hooky or did we get done with school and then we went hunting? Well, we got done with school and then we went hunting. You had, you had a test today? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. By Zoom? Mm -hmm. So she had a Zoom test today, which she needed to get done and she knew it was a little pressure because she had to get out with her dad and go hunting and, and then I guess it was worth it. So congratulations, young man. This well, was thank you, hunt. Scott. This was an awesome hunt. Stay tuned for more CRCS Outdoors. CRCS Outdoors is brought to you by K-Bar. Go to kbar.com. And Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. And the Outdoors Tomorrow Foundation. Contact Mr. Scott McClure. To follow CRCS Outdoors, join us on Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. Thanks for watching this week's show. Join us next week on CRCS Outdoors.